Hello, I'd like to welcome you all home. Today we're doing the developer's commentary b b spedazzle, and the last thing we did was, I think, this one, so let's go to that one. I'm familiar with it. Don't make me guess, why do you care? Anyway, we've seen this discussion already. I'm just picking a few other options because apparently there's achievements for getting specific options to pick. However, we always just keep digging. I think I see the perfect moment to s No, no, there's no s no, uh, electrical things around here, so I can't s prank spasm him. Too bad, too bad. I don't- I think that I- Oh no, I can't- Not enough power to you spam- <laughs> Fuck you. Oh look, it actually scans which is the closest item, and then tell- Oh, that's so sweet. I'm gonna handle this. The laptop's over there, but I don't need to get the laptop at all. What's the optional objective? Minimal violence. You know, let's, let's take the typical route. Go for the green box and see what happens from that. The lights are on. I'm just doing this because fuck it, I'm pro. <laughs> Wait! I almost forgot to turn the developer's commentary on, which is the reason I'm playing this! I remember there being a guy down there. Luckily, I opened the doors. The series of missions you do for the Chief of Police are heavily inspired by the animated series Death Note, which is about um, a killer who ends up having to help the police track himself down, and he's constantly on this knife edge of trying to figure out how much he can afford to conceal without giving himself away. Obviously you're not the killer in Gunpoint, but you have kind of committed a crime, and it is sort of the crime that Mayfield is investigating, and so I wanted the player to have that same tension of like, he keeps asking you to retrieve these bits of data from various places, and you're never quite sure whether they're going to incriminate you if you hand them over, and also whether you'll be caught if you refuse to, or you know, if you pretend there wasn't anything there, or if you give them garbage data. Usually in games you want the player to know whether his decisions are going to matter or not, but here it's very intentional that you should never know whether your decisions matter. Sometimes it's totally irrelevant, sometimes it's really, really important. Interesting. Mr. Francis. Nope, it was gone. Sweet. Um, okay, we go to. I need to explain why. Okay, let's go to Gessler Acquisitions. He doesn't tell you anything. It's just like, oh, there you go. <gasps> More music. The track you're hearing now is called Subterfuge Shuffle because I think alliteration is a substitute for coming up with clever song titles. Uh, it was the first track I wrote for the game, and also the one I used to audition. Although, if you heard my audition video on YouTube, uh, you know that it's changed quite a bit. There's a piano part that's now been cut. Uh, I was using this hideous saxophone sample at the time that one YouTube commenter very helpfully informed me sounded like ass. Uh, <laughs> so the internet is as ever a wonderful community. So this was also the uh, track that I used to kind of discern what sound aesthetic the main level music would have in this game. So decided on you know, obviously a lot of jazz influenced stuff, muted horns, piano, vibraphone, upright bass, that kind of thing. But then a little bit of electronic influence as well, because we are in the future. And then uh, when I wrote the crosslink for this track, which was also the first crosslink layer I wrote, decided to kind of flip that dynamic around and have the electronic elements take the forefront, you know, to kind of reflect that you're messing around with circuits and technology and that sort of thing. So yeah, hope you guys like it. Very noticeable, I love it. Anyway, let's use the Hushcracker. 
If you, by the way, use the elevator, this guy will look around and you're fucked. So unless you're able to take out the light, you do not want to do that. Just saying. Anyway, let's use the Hushcracker. On the QT, I have no idea what that means. I always wanted a secret agent game where you would be able to choose your allegiance for every mission. Like, every mission would have two interested parties and you chose who to work for. And the corporate espionage plotline in Gunpoint is a sort of very pared down attempt at uh, doing something like that. The problem with corporate espionage, of course, is that no one really cares which company wins. Um, but because the two CEOs of these companies are also major characters in the main plot, I figured I'd just let you go with whatever your whim is, and how that works out might affect how you feel about that character later. Damn Skippy, son. Damn Skippy. I really need to go after this guy, so I need to open that door, which means I have to do some other things. Oh, I can't go there. Can I? Can I bullfrog this? Can I, can I cheese it? I can't cheese it. Too bad, I like cheesing it. I like how you can get this, but you can't do anything with it. Oh! I love those suction cups, they're awesome. So this is what I typically do, I go for the light and then I switch it off so that I can instantaneously use that one when I want to. That guy's now looking my way, great. Anyway, we got a man that needs talking to. The specialist gets a crisp suit, cool earpiece, and shoots in the center axis relock style, which you might remember if you played Splinter Cell Conviction. I tried using it myself once when I went skirmishing, and it's great fun, and you feel like Sam Fisher, but everyone else thinks you're a toolbox, so, yeah. I never bother to look at him, but you can see it yourself by just rewinding the video! Why do I... I'm not going after the thing. Actually, can I? No. I probably could have the agent if I got him to move, but I can't, so I can't pr prank spasm anyone today. I can't anyway because I don't have the energy. But that kind of tells you if you got the energy or not. Technically, I could just open this door and go for the, for the ending. I thought he just stopped caring. I wonder how dark it is that they can't see you. Kinda wanna break through just to piss off that guy. You have to activate it first, don't you? And I don't have the power for it. Anyway, that was that. And it was something else. Intex Sympathizer, what? I'm gonna do that again. Give me a moment. It's really heavy. My arms hurt! <laughs> I like how I got an achievement. I, I, I kind of wonder what happens actually if you do that, and if it affects things if you do it in a previous mission, whatever is the case. Mayfield Datasec Recording. We already did this. Guy in the coat is my favorite. It's mine too! 
Sure, I'll do exactly, definitely that. I'll definitely, exactly do that. Whatever. All the way! Also, you lose charges if you repeat missions. I have no fucking idea why he do that. It is retarded, because it means that technically you could just spam missions to get the charges. Oh yeah, I gotta get that first, don't I? Yep. It's kind of part- Ah! Well, let me guess, I'm gonna get hurt. I like it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. But it's so funny to get hit in the face with a door! Who uses doors these days? It's all about the elevators. Talk to me, son! Having these isolated circuits of different colours gave me a good way to kind of chain puzzles together. So you've got to get to the blue circuit, then once you access that, you have to solve whatever puzzle you can solve uh, rewiring blue things. But it didn't let me combine those circuits into one big puzzle, um, because the blue circuit can have nothing to do with the yellow circuit. And I struggled for a long time to try and come up with a way that that could happen, and I had some really silly solutions like it used to be the case that things could be on two circuits at once and yep. so they could connect to two different things Noticed. and then I went through about five different ways of trying to represent that visually all of which were really confusing and ugly and uh, weird and eventually I realized like what I really need is just uh, for the bridge between the two circuits to be something physical so that's what noise detectors are for they are um, a way for something on one circuit to activate something on a different circuit so the elevators on um, one circuit and uh, it can't be linked to the microphone but when it arrives on the floor it makes a noise, the microphone hears the noise, and then you've got a way to use one circuit to activate another one. And that gives me a lot more options for designing puzzles. I realized I could... No, I need that blue detector to go off. I actually don't want that door to activate. I want this to activate. I don't want that to activate. So we have all the blue doors open that I need open. Yeah. Ain't happening, Sonny. Cause I'm damn skippy! And that's how things will always be. Damn you! Blue thing! Green! Yeah. Um, yeah, there was once uh, an ability called Transfusion that allowed you to put uh, the circuits of a blue and a red. Um, for example, you needed to have access to both circuits. It was pretty strange and energy consuming and it kind of cheesed a lot of puzzles. You also had things that blinked between the specific circuits, and those were strange indeed. I'll give you that much. What do we do with this guy? I need to distract him. Turn off the lights. Oh yeah, I have that thing over there, don't I? Yep, 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 yep. yep. Anyway, if I do this, I can get that door open. I can go down, take care of the lights, get that guy to move. No, he can't move there, so he won't go there. I really forgot. People don't go places, they can't go. If I had the energy, I could totally sprank spaz in this guy. Because there's a circuit on the yellow and I could just make him hit the switch and everything. I say, why the hell not? Why the heck not? Cover up. Ah! Oh! <laughs> so awesome, actually. Oh, wait, no, no, God. Abort! Abort! We can now try out the other things. Let's do it. Let's try out the revolver. So! The revolver! You have... Oh, 15? 
It was originally 20, and then it got to 14 for some reason. Anyway, this is the revolver. You have six bullets, you gotta buy more just like the charges. There's a fun fact about this revolver, by the way. That timer is when the police comes. Not good. So you're gonna restart, but if a guard gets aimed at, he won't shoot. And because they can't go through elevators, they won't follow you. The idea is that you shoot the guy, but you can also just go close enough that they walk backwards. Oh, so it goes... Oh, cool. That's cool. So let's try out the long shot. I like the long shot because it's a very fancy power-up. Okay, so this is how the long shot actually works. Um, in this case, I can make him turn off the lights. Basically, it causes their gun to be an activator. It costs four batteries. Goddamn. Anyway. That means that if I link these two together, he's gonna shoot his... His buddy's gonna shoot him. What happened on Sunday? Mm -hmm. That actually reminds me, we didn't get the uh, laptop in the other room, so let's go do that. There it is! Oh, oh so we have to shoot the guy! We have to shoot something. Um, gunshots count no matter what you do, by the way. And, by the way, very finicky. So if you're gonna do this, be super fucking careful! Because it will fuck you up pretty fast. What? I don't know if these count, but they probably do. So that's, uh, the revolver is a good deterrent. I don't like it. I don't want to use it. So technically, there's no real reason for me to save up money, but, you know. By the way. Now there's the achievement. I taste battery acid. Naturally. Naturally. We all taste battery acid. So that's that for now. What is his full name, anyway? Like, I forgot. Is it Julian Mayfield? Yeah, yeah. I guess it's minus one time. So that's that for now. See you guys next time with more interesting intrigue. Truly, this game is very nice. You should get it now. And if you don't have it already, why don't you already have it? There's so much to this game. There's excitement. There's adventure. There's intrigue. There's noir-style trench coats and. Hats, people! The fedoras! How can you resist a nicely styled fedora with a long coat? I don't know how. You're an inhuman man. Die in a pit somewhere, you man person. Or don't. It's your choice, really. Not going to make you, but whatever.